I almost forgot before I went to bed that, hey, I still need to make a video today. And guess what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about how this format is fucking stale. And you know it's bad when the Ultra Ball says that the format is fucking stale. We both think that this format is fucking stale. You know what th this fucking ball wants to do right now? It's what I want to do to this format and get the fuck on out. I think it just died. Be sure to smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button and be sure to leave a comment down below that you subscribe so that I can thank you personally with your own little personalized comment because we're going to do everything that we can to grow this channel to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. So let's talk about this stale-ass fucking format at almost fucking midnight. I swear to God, if I get Ash Blossomed again, on my fucking Flunderies, Robina, my Eaglin, my Branded Fusion, my Alubar, my fucking Foolish Burial. I'm going to rip up every single copy of Ash Blossom on TCG Player. I'm going to buy out every single copy of Ash and just rip up every single copy on a live stream. Because I swear to God, I've been Ashed more times than I can even fucking count at this point. And here's the thing. You know, I was thinking earlier today about how back in like 2012 when we got that really dog shit uh ban list that mostly just hit like tengu plants and it really focused on hitting the plant deck as a whole and at the time the tcg and the ocg ban lists were connected together so whatever happened in the ocg we already knew what would happen in the tcg so we didn't have to wait for konami or tcg to publish a ban list when we could just look at the ocg see theirs and then know okay in a couple weeks this is what ours is going to be and a lot of people were pissed because they're like you know windups can loop your hand uh insectors can pop your board and this is during a time when uh, getting a ban list usually happened around only six to nine months or so, give or take. Um, so when we got changes, there was usually a whole lot of changes to be had. And I believe it was Kevin Tewart back then who posted an article on the Konami blog talking about how they go about making changes to the ban list. And yes, I know that it's you know over 10 years old at this point, but it's still something that we can reference to because unless Konami decides to put out another article about the ban list, which I don't think that they ever will, let's be honest with ourselves here, they don't communicate anything, which is something else I'm gonna be talking about in a minute. Uh, we have nothing else to go by, so we have to go by what they said uh, at the, the last thing that they said was, right? So the thing that the, basically they wanted to get across was that they want to hit cards that everybody uses because they feel like that games would just become boring to play, which is what we're fucking seeing right now. Because let's be honest, like the format is solved. Like branded was another thing to throw into the format, but you know, it's going along with itself and prank kids as like the two best decks of the format. You got sword soul still doing good shit. You've got sky strikers now popping its ugly fucking head out of the ground, which just, aggravates me to no end. Tri Brigade still needs to have Revolt Ban because that's another return from the different dimension. I, I'm, I'm just hands down, don't at me. I know I'm sitting at 720 subscribers. I might lose some subs for that, but Jesus fucking Christ, Revolt needs to be hit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I know that people said in my comment section on my Ash Blossom video that Ash does not need to be hit. That shit needs to go to fucking one. I am sorry. It needs to be fucking hit. And Call by the Grave needs to come back to two. Um, and the thing is, is that, and going back to the article, you know, they mentioned, I believe it was Kevin Tour, like I said before, I believe that he had mentioned things like Sinister Serpent, Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, Forceful Century, Pot of Greed, Raigeki. All of these cards were things that every single deck back in the day played because they were just that good. No matter what your strategy was, you had a base formula of cards that you played, which is why, like in my Chaos Control retrospective video, why I mentioned the term cookie cutter chaos, because everybody back in the day just played cookie cutter chaos, because it was chaos that was cookie cutter. They were all the same, maybe with a couple changes. And typically, whenever we see something like a tier zero format, it's a deck 
that has taken up majority of top spots, right? Like over 50%, 80%, whatever it may be. I would argue we are not in a tier zero format, but we are in a tier zero fucking engine. And that's what really pisses me off about this format right now, that Konami just, they know that they have to address, but I really think that they're waiting until the end of the Battle of Chaos season, May 14th, and right before May 22nd hits with the Dimension Force uh, regional season, since that's our next course set. And I'm sure, I am 99% positive that they're going to give us a brand new ban list before that season hits. Whether it's they give us the ban list before and then it goes into effect later, or they give it to us right after the May 14th ban list, whatever, or the May 14th regional, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to engines, you look at what we have now and it's very similar to what we had back in the fucking day. You look at something like quick draw format or even Edison format when you didn't have archetypes. You had like quick draw Dandy Warrior. It was good shit dot deck. You ran debris. You ran quick draw. You ran junk synchron. You ran dandelion. You ran Caius. You ran just good shit in the format. And that's not to say that that's necessarily a bad thing. It's something good to have from time to time. And it's a nice breakaway from having your typical archetypes in the meta. You know, instead of just having, you know, just as an example, Prank Kids, Infernobles, and uh, Satellar Knights and Sky Strikers, you've got, you know, whatever your archetype decks are for that time, and then you've got Pile of Cards. You've got Subterra with a Red Eyes Fusion and Destiny Fusion package. That, at face value, is really, really cool, and it provides for fantastic experimentation. But when you see it again, again, and fucking again, it's asinine it's the same shit every game but it's just a different archetype but it's the same goddamn thing let me give you an example 60 card prank kids they're playing 14 to 16 hand traps 16 17 max 14 at the minimum every deck right now minus like rogue ants high meta even flunderies because we really can't play a lot of hand traps because then we just break even fucking more and it's like <laughs> clown mask <laughs> and a majority of meta decks right now are playing two to three Ash, two to three Valor, two to three Imperm, two Ghost Bell, um, maybe Nibiru, probably not, uh, maybe Gamma, maybe not, and three copies of Crossout Designator and a Call by the Grave. Because decks, especially like Branded, need to get their shit off. And a lot of builds too are now going to double, triple tactics talent just to ensure that if they're going to get fucked over with a hand trap, they're going to punish you for playing that hand trap. And to me, it's just, it's, it's fuckery. Like it's just, it's like a never ending cycle. You play hand traps to stop the meta cards. Then people will play shit like cross up designator and triple tactics talent to stop the hand traps the hand traps go out of the meta they stop playing those cards now people are going to play hand traps again and it just goes over and over and over and it never fucking ends now when it comes to the engines you look at the fusion destiny package that's typically four cards right double fusion destiny or double destiny heroes you look at the adventure engine which is typically three rider bear meets or three sanctuary one faithful venture one griffin rider one draco back maybe they're playing two faithful venture because they want to be fucking cute who cares that is what three six Dracoback 7, Griffin 8, Faithful Adventure 9, and then the Fusion Destiny package is 4 more cards. 10, 11, 12, 13. You're looking at 13 cards even before, let's say, 16 hand traps, plus everything else is their archetype. So I would make the argument that right now we are seeing something very interesting in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the fact that we are seeing almost over 50% of, of decks topping right now, whether it's a YCS or a regional, topping with the same engines and konami damn well knows this and they gotta fucking hit this shit whether it's hand traps whether it's the adventure engine whether it's dpe verte mystic mine you name it shit has to fucking change and i'm sorry i understand that ash blossom is a necessary evil and i understand for some decks it really doesn't affect them. And I understand that there are ways to play around it. You can play cross out. You can play call by the grave. Unless you're unlucky like my punk ass and you just never draw it. And I'm like, the, you know, the, there was a game that I was play testing earlier today on EDO Pro with Flunderies. I've really been trying to prepare for this regional. Which, fun fact, uh, Nationals isn't actually open to everybody. You had to have an invite from 2020, 2021, or get an invite in the 2022 regional season before July. Uh, but I digress. That's going to have to be another video. Um, 
you know, I'm, I'm playtesting against this guy, and he's playing whatever fucking meta deck. I can't even tell you what it was at this point. It was Tri Brigade. That's what it was. Tri Brigade Adventure with branded shit. And I'm like, whatever. And so I'm going first, and I'm like, okay, cool. We got Robina and Eaglin. We go Robina, he imperms. We get to next turn, he bricked or something. I go Eaglin, he goes imperm. I'm like, you know, I wish I was as good as you being able to open up two fucking imperms. And then, of course, I try to make another play like on the third turn because I like feather stormed him twice or some shit. Whatever happened, I don't remember. And then he ashed me. And I'm like, you know, you would have that fucking shit because it's like, who the fuck doesn't in 2022? You know, Ash has had, what, six, seven printings. It's getting another one in the 2022 tens. And it's just a bunch of fucking shit. And I'm just tired of this format. Like, yeah, it sounds like I'm bitching and moaning. But the point that I want to push home by saying all this is the fact that I would argue over 80% of decks topping right now are playing the same cards. Whether it's the same hand traps, whether it's the same number of amount of hand traps, whether it's the Adventure Engine or the Fusion Destiny Package everybody's playing the same fucking cards. And if Konami still makes ban lists based upon the fact that they don't want everybody playing the same cards because it gets fucking boring, which, spoiler alert, it fucking has, they know that they have to hit this stuff. And they can't just do like the OCG and go from two Enchantress and Rite of Aramiser to one. They've got to go straight to one. They've got to do something about Fusion Destiny. they got to do something about DP. they got to ban Verte and just fix the format. And I'm sure that they will. But Jesus Christ, the time it takes to get from where we are now to the point where they fix that shit, every day is a fucking grind. And which is why I'm, I'm not even playtesting Flunderies anymore. I know my matchups inside now. I know how the deck works inside now. If I top the regional, great. If I don't, the format sucks ass anyway, and I'm just over it. <laughs> I, I know my matchups. I know how to beat my opponents. It's just a matter of do I brick or not? And if they have the hand trap, can I play around it? If not, fuck it. We'll go to the next game and I'm going to feather storm you into oblivion. So guys, please let me know in the comments. Did I miss anything? Am I off kilter here? I feel like I say that a lot in my videos nowadays, but it just, I'm so over this format. I'm so over it. And I really want a huge, just self-destruct reset button on this shit. I don't ever feel like I've seen something like this in Yu-Gi-Oh! Out of all the years I've played, just seeing the same fucking engines in every deck. It's ass nine. And I'm sure Konami's going to change it, but God, it takes forever to get there. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.